Hey there, it's Chrissy Key Rollins here bringing you this week's recap of the 1099 Ladies Networking Online Chapter Meeting, where tonight the focus was on tackling that to-do list. How do you get through your to-do list and get everything done in the world of business ownership? So here are the highlights from tonight's conversation. One thing that comes through a week after week after week is that however you approach your to-do list, know who you are, know what's true to you and do what's right for you. If you know that you're not an AM person and you're more of a PM person, then don't put your commitments at the start of the day, move them down to the bottom of the day and vice versa. So get to know yourself, find what works best for you. Also, make sure that you include all the tasks that need to get done that aren't the priority like money exchange tasks. So if you have those, which you do, make sure that you're scheduling those and making that part of your to-do list as well. Also, don't put too many to-do lists, or too many to-do items on your list. Maybe just start with three items. Maybe limit it to seven for both your business and your personal life throughout the day. See how that does for you. Again, be true to yourself. If you find that that's not working, dial it back or scale it up. Find what works for you. We also found that there was a hybrid approach that most, most business owners like, where we do part digital and part pen to paper. Pen to paper, we get more big vision, map out bigger ideas, and then we use the electronic digital devices to track the daily, to scale things down, and to take it task by task. Everybody liked the fact that you could carry things over in the calendar, and that you could invite and share other people with the digital calendar, so definitely check that out if that is something that you're not already utilizing. Also, when setting your schedule and your to-do list, be realistic. Get a solid idea of how long it's gonna take you to do the task and make sure that you are putting enough time around it in order to get the task carried through uh, to the end. So with that, you might want to separate out business stuff from personal stuff and keep it totally separate so that you can make sure that all those tasks come through. And um, also you might wanna consider building in incentives. Do you have a reward? Do you have a break that you're working to? To Do you have some kind of uh, end goal once you actually check through your to-do list? Sometimes that can be motivating and inspiring as well. Also using color coding in order to have highlighted out and be at a quick glance of what kind of task it is that's on your schedule. And um, let's see here. Oh, and plan your time out the day before. So get an idea of what to-do list you want to accomplish the day before. Check in with your to-do list that morning. See if anything needs to be shifted and um, get started on getting it done. If you have more tips on how to tackle your to-do list, what works well for you, if you have questions about how to overcome a struggle that you have with your to-do list, drop them in the comments below. And we invite you to keep this conversation going online over on Facebook at the 1099 Ladies Networking Facebook group. And also visit us online at 1099ladiesnetworking.com to find out about the other chapters that are currently meeting both in person and virtually. And we look forward to seeing you here every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. for our online chapter meeting. All right, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.